Stepney's visit to Sir Topham Hatt's railway was coming to an end. Bullshit, said Sir Topham Hatt. Then he turned his attention to all the other engines. This country is big time, pig time. Forget the bald eagle. You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? A big bowl of macaroni and cheese. A big bowl, because everything in this country is king size. King size, extra large, and super jumbo. Especially the fucking people. What does that mean, whispered Duck? That means... Big fat motherfuckers walking around. Snapped James. And he was. <laughs> The Diesel surveyed the shed. Sometimes they'll say, well, you can talk about something, but you can't joke about it. Say you can't joke about something because it's not funny. Comedians run into that shit all the time. Like rape, they'll say, you can't joke about rape. Rape's not funny. I say, fuck you, I think it's hilarious. How do you like that? The engines glared. Give you an example. You ever see a news story like this in the paper? Every now and then you run into a story that says, some guy broke into a house, stole a lot of things, and while he was in there, he raped an 81-year-old woman. And I'm thinking to myself, why? <laughs> what the fuck kind of a social life does this guy have? The engines were furious. Next morning, they held an indignation meeting round the turntable. Disgraceful. Disgusting. Oh, some people would like to shut you up for saying those things. To say such things to us, cried Donald and Douglas, is to teach them a lesson we'd be wanting. Now, how do we do it? Their chance came sooner than expected. The diesel was purring comfortably. An inspector watched a fitter making final adjustments. The wind tugged at the inspector's hat. The diesel was ready. I wonder, is there more rape at the equator or the North Pole? I mean, per capita. I know the populations are different. Most people think it's the equator. I think it's the North Pole. People think it's the equator because it's hot down there, they don't wear a lot of clothing, guys can see women's tits, they get horny, and there's a lot of fucking going on. That's exactly why there's less rape at the equator, because there's a lot of fucking going on. You can tell there's a lot of fucking at the equator. Take a look at the population figures. Billions of people live near the equator. How many Eskimos we got? 30, 35? <laughs> No one's getting late at the North Pole. It's too fucking cold. He rolled proudly toward his coaches. Then it happened. Shaking and spluttering, the diesel stopped. It's just fucking dandy. Meanwhile, the inspector was looking for his hat. The diesel seethed with fury as Duck and Stepney pushed him back to the shed. My hat, exclaimed the inspector. You sucked it through your air intake. Fuck you! Fuck your hat. The heavy train's due out. You'll have to take it, Duck. Stepney, will you help, please? Fuck you, sir, cried Stepney. I'd like a good long run on my last day. The engines were soon ready. I got an idea for homeless. You know what they ought to do? You know what they ought to do? Give the homeless their own magazine. Give them their own magazine. It would make them feel better, for one thing. That's a sure sign of making it in this country. Every group in this country that makes it and arrives at a certain level has its own magazine. You have Working Mother magazine, Black Entrepreneur magazine, Hispanic Business magazine. In fact, any activity, any activity engaged in by more than four people and this country has got a fucking magazine devoted to it. <laughs> Skydiving, mountain climbing, snowmobiling, backpacking, bungee jumping, duck hunting, shooting someone in the asshole with a dart gun, jerking off, they probably have a magazine for that. Now for a sprint, puffed Stepney. You have to get rich off of that problem, replied Duck. Soon they were whizzing through Edward Station. Next, they charged at Gordon's Hill beyond. They felt the drag of the heavy coaches here. It was hard work. At last, they were running smoothly along the line toward the big station.
Hello, you're early, said Gordon. That's one in the headlamp for old Diesel. That's the kind of answer you get from a conservative American businessman. Say, yeah, let them read it. When they get finished reading, they can use it to plug up the holes and then piano crates they all seem to like to live in. A good, sound, practical, conservative American business solution. Serves him right for saying we're out of date. And Gordon chortled away. Next day, everyone came to say goodbye to Stepney. I hate to be repetitious, but God, we are a warlike lot, you know? Whistled the engines. And you are always welcome on my Bluebell Railway, too, replied Stepney. Then he puffed away. Fuck you! And what about Diesel? He'd slipped out while no one was looking. Bombing, some small but he left two things behind. A rather nasty smell and a battered bowler hat. Where's the morality in that?